Uh, we're going to kind of stick on the old Southern topic. Um, we are losing an icon here in Birmingham, mm -hmm. in Alabama, one that has been around for how many years? Uh, at least over a hundred years or almost a hundred years. Yeah. We are losing our golden flake potato chip factory. Yeah. What's it's the a, story here? It's a sad, sad day. Uh, essentially, from what I understood, was uh, back in 2016, the the family sold to Uts because I wanted. This is like from what I've seen, what I've looked and learned is I think the the family of the initial. This would be I think the grandchildren of the initial older owner. I think uh, from what I, this is what just what I've understood. They no longer wanted to deal with it. Kind of one of those things. Mm -hmm. This just, and I think they decided. You know, they when it came time and Uts offered them a lot of money, they they sold it. Yeah. So since 2016, Utz has been overseeing the 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 factory, and that makes sense now why I started seeing Utz potato chips more around here the last couple of years because mm -hmm. I used to never see them. I'd always see them in movies or pictures of other places, and then right. all of a sudden they should appear because always the Utz cheese balls. That's what I automatically assume is the mm -hmm. cheese balls is always the thing I think of. Right. But I think I think was it last when it was it announced? It was, it was just within this. It was just week. within this last week, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they announced they're going to shut down the uh, the Birmingham the plant, which I hate because, like I said, I've talked for years about they offered a tour of the plant. You could go and mm -hmm. see see how they did it, and yeah. I kept saying, "I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it." Well, can't, now I can't do it in general. You are missed they, out. Are yes. they are they still offering tours until it shuts down? Oh, that's a good question. They they may not. I would be surprised. I bet you they would get swamped right now if they did. Yeah, probably. Is, is it going to remain a distribution center, though, for Golden Flake? Or I don't know if they're going to make it, but from what I understand, like, I think Utz is going to, wherever they're going to, they make their potato chips, they're going to still sell, like, uh, they're going to sell, I think, I'm sure, all the popular ones, but, like, they're no longer going to be made in Birmingham. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's the weird thing about it. That's the travesty, because Golden Flake started in Birmingham. Yep. yep. Established, uh, founded in 1923. Wow. I, I, I mean, what's so funny is just for me being, of course, an Alabama fan, when I first heard that they're no longer making Golden Flake potato chips, I was like, I can hear Bear Bryant grumble, oh, grumble from the great hereafter. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I that's, you know. I ain't never been an Uts eater. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 So yeah, yeah, that's that's wild. I mean, it's 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 like for especially because you know it's to me it's weird when that's just because of our region. When I think potato chips, I mean they did their branding, mm -hmm. Golden Flake. Now, that's our that's our chips around here. Yeah. Yep. I uh, mean it's it was always you know I st I still purchase it every now and then. Um, mm -hmm. but you know growing up it was like we always had Golden Flake chips. Yep. In, in the cabinet, and there was all I'm saying. If they if they drop the sweet heat barbecue chips, I'm going to riot. Let me tell you, when I was pregnant, I had, <laughs> I craved I had uh, Minute Maid lemonade and sweet heat barbecue chips was one of my cravings. And mm -hmm. I want to say it was a year, a couple of years ago, they did like a, a mashup flavor. It was like dill pickle and barbecue. I say, I want to say that was like my favorite chip there for a little while. Ooh. I think that's what it was. It was, I like the dill pickle chips, but I know as I see Brock over there, <laughs> his, his, his love for dill pickles. I was, a uh, I was looking at the website. Um, and it's got, you know, Uts is, mm -hmm. is prevalent there at the top, yeah. but you've got golden flake and then scrolling down. Ooh, they got the Golden Flake Vintage Clown T-shirt. Oh yeah, yes. And oh, a coffee I, and a coffee cup. Mm. Sorry, not that's uh, some nostalgia right there. Birmingham I've said that. I ain't thought about the clown. I ain't thought about the clown in mm -hmm. forever because it used to. You'd see on the back of the bag the clown throwing something in the trash can to make sure you threw it away. I remember yeah. that. Well, oh, yeah, I completely forgot the clown. And a little backstory to Jessica. My ex-husband actually used to drive a Golden Flake delivery truck oh, wow. and would stock the store. So. Yeah, we uh we used to have quite a bit there for a while, and uh the, the big they they did sell like these or the, he he was getting like a lot of those big glass uh mm -hmm. mugs with the golden flake um emblem on the side and everything. I yeah. think we still got some of those put up, but yeah. It's so funny is like I, I saw like a lot of the like AL.com's Facebook post and whatever. And what got me was it also threw in there people were like, great, this is going to be like the barbers where this is going to disappear. And like everybody was like, I missed my barber's dip and now I'm not going to lose my golden flake chips with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I, that's a sad thought right there for us. Yeah. I mean, you, you think like, yeah, that's I, mean, like, I think from what I understand, they're still going to make it's going to be golden flake. But yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there it is. 
Big Utch logo at the top. There's Golden Flake. Mesquite mm-hmm. Barbecue, Thin and Crispy Dill. Dill pickle chips. Yes. yes. The salt and vinegar pe- potato oh, chips. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All those. Oh, the pork, salt and vinegar pork rinds. Oh, mm-hmm. those are, see, there's also about the, the t-shirt. Oh, man. That's, like you said, there's some nostalgia I hadn't thought about. Man, mm-hmm. I need that now. Yeah. Oh. Well, you better get on it quickly. Oh, I think I like that yellow one. 30 bucks. Woo. Yeah. That's a lot for a t-shirt. That's why they're shutting down the factory. <laughs> Nobody's buying the t-shirts. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I like nostalgia, but whoo. <laughs> I don't know if I like $30 in nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> but we spend, we, I, I, we waste so much money. Hey, somebody got that on T Public somewhere? <laughs> you know, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, sort of, it's sort of like the Drake meme, you know. Thirty bucks for a T-shirt. Thirty bucks for you know. Thirty bucks for an action figure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. I don't want to spend. I won't spend thirty bucks on that. Now I might spend it on a plastic action figure, but you know. Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, well, me. Well. Well. Yeah. My shirt would last you a long time if you don't wear it out. I was. I was thinking of an action figure would last a lot more, a lot longer than a bag of chips, but. Yeah, uh-huh. I do have a wrestling shirt that is twenty six years old. Yes. So yeah. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah. That one being mentioned. Yeah. 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 <laughs> man you know you could get like a lot of money for that on ebay <laughs> i know that is one of the two wrestling shirts i own that are over 20 years old i have that one and i have a stone cold from like 2001 or mm. 2002 wow and i have a few nwo shirts i gotta find wherever i did with them yeah i've still got my uh, royal rumble 2002 shirt where i went in atlanta i don't know what happened to all mine either i i think about that quite a bit yeah so well yeah birmingham icon is no more yeah, I was right. I did make. They had Golden Flake Tangy Pickle Barbecue. Mm. Pickle. They had that and Buffalo Ranch. That was the two <gasps> mashup flavors they had a couple Ooh. years ago. Oh, Ooh. why did I miss out on Buffalo Ranch? I would love the Buffalo Ranch mm. for sure. I think they got like a. Um, I thought they had some kind of like a jalapeno, um, one too. Cream like a, or maybe I'm thinking of something else. I don't know. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, we'll move yeah. on. Like I said, yeah, Utch, just, 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 you know, I hate you're closing it down, but you know, take care of our brand. It's a lot of been a lot of part of people's, yeah, you know, life. You know, especially in Alabama. I mean, they were, I know they were missing. According to Wikipedia, they were distributed in Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, Arkansas, Louisiana, South Carolina, Kentucky, Texas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Virginia, North Carolina, Indiana, and Maryland. Wow, <laughs> I've been so they, everywhere, they man. South. I've been everywhere. So, so <laughs> the whole southeastern U.S. Yeah, so, I mean, like I said, it's, it's like I said, just you know, take care of it. Don't forget about it. Just take care of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I mean, and I understand there. That's one of the things I was looking here to see when the articles I read. They are what they have for. Let's see. It would spend three to five million dollars in closure, including one point five million in employee severance payments, mm. with the rest being spent to transfer production. So. Yeah. At least hopefully they'll take care of the employees well and Yeah. Uh, it's wow. just a it's just sad to see stuff like that go down. Yeah, it's I mean, like it's it's one of those yeah, it's one of those it's so funny, it's one of those things you don't think about it until it's this and the leave and now you're like, This is gonna be a big hole gone, you know, big hole <laughs> something missing. Yeah. Especially with you know, being a century in this state mm-hmm. yeah. and originating here. My goodness. Mm-hmm. Well, best of luck to the employees and Yeah. We're pulling for you. And like Bo said, let's keep it around. Don't let that just brand disappear. Yeah. yeah. 